hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is the weekly market analysis if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet do all to click on the subscribe button and smash notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you're gonna get notified as soon as possible yeah so just as we do on this channel here before we enter into a new week i we, we go into the market and then look at what the market has done and what is yet to done so far as going into a new week is concerned Last week was good, all right? We really had a massive week. And for the record, it is one of my highest ever pips called so far as this year is concerned, all right? So far as calling out signals is concerned, the just ended week has been one of my highest ever week that I've, I've, I've produced, all right? So far as calling out signals is concerned. But let me take you straight to to the result all right yes this is the result whatever you are seeing here is what is 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 the result gain in one week yes you heard me one week all right we took a trade in gvjpy of which we had 20 23 pips we took another trade in euro jpy which it's ended 100 pips in profit chfjpy ended ended 180 pips in profit ADUSD ended 42 pips in loss. NASDAQ and ended 400, 400 pips, all right? 400 pips in profit. So the, this 400 pips is just partial that we have taken, all right? I'm still holding the NASDAQ. I'm still holding the NASDAQ, so take note of that. GPUSD ended 46 pips in loss. So our net pip for the week ended amounted to what 845 pips yes you heard me clear and you are seeing it for yourself 845 pips and these are the trades that i posted in my swing trading room all right these are the trades i posted in my swing trading room so this is clear the reason why i'm always pushing for you to come join my swing trading room because i mean yeah we are really really banging it all right yes uh, massive pips drops every week and i mean this is just the beginning all right this is just the beginning more to come there is a lot to come so if you're not part of the swing trading room make sure you check the description box below the link to my telegram ideas there just hit on it it will direct you straight into my dm on telegram all right let's have a chat and then i'll add you up into the swing trading room all right yes i mean don't just don't just be watching all right just take part of it and trust me you're really going to see the benefits that is going to come out of it all right yeah so before we get into the chat let's look at the economic news calendar and see what is up for us so far as going into a new week is concerned so next week my focus is really going to be on gbp and then card all right yes because we really have massive news coming out from there we have the inflation for gbp unemployment and employment change for gbp and then inflation for card all right yeah so these two currencies are really really going to be my point of focus even though i watch the other currencies on my watch list but gbp and card is my top target so far as next week is concerned so on monday the october 16 2023 we have euro cpi then on Euro CPI, that is Italy, all right? Yeah, so CPI from Italy. Then we have USD State Manufacturing Index for the month of October. Then we have the NZD CPI. So on Tuesday, October 17, 2023, we have the RBA meeting minutes from Australia. We have unemployment rates for the month of August. For GBP, we have on, we have employment change for the month of July for GBP. We have the economic sentiment index for the month of October for Germany. We have inflation rate year over year for the month of September for Canada. We have the CPI median year over year for the month of September for Canada. We have the CPI trend median year over year for the month of September for Canada. We have the USD retail sales year over year for the month of September for USD. We have retail sales excluding autos all right for the month of a month for the month of september for usd 
we have retail sales month over month for the month of September for USD. We have retail sales excluding gas and autos month over month for the month of September for USD. Then we have the ECB speech for the Eurozone. On Wednesday, we have inflation rate year over year for the month of September for GBP. We have Austria CPI for the month of September. We have CPI for the month of September for the Eurozone. Then we have the building permit for the month of September for USD. We have JPY balance of trade for the month of September. Then we have on Thursday, we have unemployment rate for the month of September for Australia, employment change for the month of September for Australia. We have the initial jobless claims for the month of October for USD, jobless claims for week average for the month of October for USD, continuing jobless claims for the month of October for USD, existing home sales month over month for the month of September for USD, existing home sales for the month of September for USD, then you have the fair, fair chair speech, all right? Yes, and inflation rate for Japan for the month of September. On Friday, we have the GBP retail sales excluding, excluding fuel for the month of September for GBP. We have retail sales excluding fuel year over year for the month of September for GBP. We have retail sales year over year for the month of September for GBP. We have retail sales month over month for the month of September for you, for GBP. Then we have retail sales year over year for the month of August for Canada. Retail sales excluding autos month over month for the month of August for Canada. Then retail sales month over month for the month of August for Canada. So these are the high impact news you expect to see on the market so far as next week is concerned. Let's look at the chart and see what is happening. So for the dollar index, we saw a massive impulse move happen on Thursday, all right? Yes, so I was expecting to see price take out this low, then we see a continuation to the downside. But as it stands now, it looks like the dollar index is starting off a, a recovery phase to the upside. So as it stands now, we have, we've had this word impulse move to the upside. Then on Friday, too, we had another word, in, another bullish move. So as it stands now, looking at the current price action, my next draw on liquidity is this high right here. All right, I'm expecting to see price continue to push to the upside to take out this high right here. So that is going to be my expectation. So far as the dollar index is concerned, let's go what is happening on GBP USD. So for GBP USD, we took out this high right here. All right, and price is still stuck within this area. Remember, I told you that once price bounced off this zone, I'm expecting to see price was moving to the upside. But price is what is back into this area again. So I'll be looking at how price is going to react. If we take out this low, then definitely we see price pushing to the downside to take out the sell side liquidity right here. All right. But if price fails to take out this low, then we see a reversal or a turning up then definitely you see price take out this high but as it stands now the dollar index is kind of bullish all right it's it's kind of bullish so we'll see what will happen and next week too we have a lot of high impact news for gbp so that is that, that will really influence how gbp usd is going to react so as it stands now that is how i'll be looking at gbp going into next week let's look at what is happening on aud usd so for AUD USD2, we've had price what giving us this impulse move to the downside. All right, this low, I mean, it has already been taken. All right, yes, this low is price would definitely what take out this low because it's very close, so so close. All right, but we have this what we have this fair value gap right here. So as I'm bullish on the dollar index, they definitely. We we'll see ADUSD push to the downside. We also have employment and unemployment change for ADUSD going into next week. So definitely we'll see some massive moves. But as to what I'm seeing here, I want to see price push up to fill up this fair value gap. Then we see a, a lower swing high created. Then we see a move to the downside. All right. Yeah. So 
that is going to be my expectation so far as AUDUSD is concerned. All right, yeah, so that is just that for AUDUSD. Let's go with what's happening on USD card for USD card. For USD card, we've had price, we had price would move to the downside to fill out to this fair value gap we are seeing here. Then we saw price giving us a low, then giving us an impulse move to, to the upside. As it stands now, I'm still expecting to see AD US, sorry, USD card push to the downside, take out this low right here into this zone before we see a move to the upside. So those of you in my Telegram channel, I posted a signal on on is it tasty? Yeah, I think tasty or Friday. Yeah, one of them. All right. So there's it. Um, we, we are still in the trade. I'm expecting to see this low being taken off. All right. Then we see price push to the downside, right into the zone before we see a move to the upside. All right. Yeah. So that is going to be my expectation. And the trade is is, is expected to give us 178 pips. All right. Yeah. So. That is my expectation for USD card as far as next week is concerned. Let's look at what is happening on GBPJPY. Yeah, so for GBPJPY, I made things clear last week. All right, I really, really made things clear last week. I'm expecting to see price push to the upside, and just as I so I showed you in my swing, sorry, in my signal results we took a buy on gp gpy and we banked about 233 pips all right as it stands now i'll still be looking for what bullish prices so far as cvp gpy is concerned all right as it stands now i want to see price give us a what a higher swing low then we see a push to the upside so currently i'm waiting for the formation of a higher swing low on gbp JPY, then we see a move to the upside. But let's switch to the four hour time frame and see what is happening in there. Yeah. So that is it. All right. That is it. I want to see a swing low formation right here. All right. And then based on that, I'll start looking for what for an entry to push price to the upside. This is the trade we took. All right. This is the trade we took. So take note of that so that is just that so far as gbp jpy is concerned let's look at what is happening on euro jpy yeah so for euro jpy we took a trade to an euro jpy and we closed the trade at 100 pips as a stance now for euro jpy too is still bullish i'm not expecting to see a push the downside so far as euro jpy is concerned i want to see a formation of a, of a higher swing low then you see a push to the upside, taking out the previous 20 day high as well as the previous 40 day high. So that is going to be my expectation so far as your JPY is concerned. All right, I want to see price giving us a, a low, a higher swing low formation right within this area. Then, based on that, I'll start look, to look for a bullish entry for price to what to push to. The upside so that is going to be my expectation going into next week so far as euro gpy is concerned let's look at what is happening with gold for gold we saw a very very massive move all right i don't i don't really know what happened basically i'm sure it's going to be what is really happening in israel all right yes the geopolitical event happening that really i think that that really had had this push to the upside if you are not aware that gold is a safe heaven so whenever there is a geopolitical event people move their money into gold all right so take note of that gold is a safe heaven so whenever there is a geopolitical event or there is any global events that will have an effect on the economic market or on the financial market people will move their money or will shift their money into gold. So expect gold to, to push to the upside. And so that is what led to this move to the upside. All right. Yeah. So as it stands now, so far as the issue is still ongoing, 
expect gold to continue to be pushing to the upside all right expect gold to continue to push to the upside but on a price action level once you've had this huge impulse move to the upside before a continuation we expect to see price filling at least 50 percent of this impulse move all right this is the 50 percent line so at least price filling 50 percent of this impulse move before we see a continuation to the upside all right so that is how i'm looking at gold going into next week let's look at what is happening on nasdaq yeah so nasdaq we really we caught a massive move on nasdaq all right yes we caught a massive move on, on nasdaq nasdaq was somewhere around here last week and i told you that once this swing low has been formed i'm expecting to see price push to the upside and it gave us that massive push all right it gave us that, that massive push so as it stands now whatever we are seeing here or whatever down move we are seeing here is a retracement all right i want to see price give us a, a higher swing low formation all right you've taken out a swing high right here we formed a what a swing low taking out a swing high so the next thing to expect is a higher swing low formation within the zone right here then we see a push to the upside all right yes yeah, so for nasdaq i'll patiently wait for the higher swing low formation then we see a push to the upside all right yes i'm still holding this street i'm still holding it all right just that i've taken 70 percent of my profit off so going into next week i want to see the swing low formation then based on that i'll look for an entry and expect price to push to the upside here yeah. so that is just that for the weekly market analysis if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet do also click on the subscribe button and smash notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video yeah i know lately i haven't really been consistent with the daily updates all right yes i'm really tight with a lot of things that is outside trading all right that is why i haven't been consistent these days with the daily forex update but trust me i'll bounce back all right yes I'll bounce back into my regular posting of the daily update. So kindly cross your fingers and be patient with me. All right. Yeah. So that is just that. I'll come your way again another time. Peace.